everybody. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen now. I think that's showing properly if everything's working. Um, team leaders, give me a little nod. You're seeing it properly. All right, awesome. So uh, I, I'm Dave Jezik, and I supervise special education uh, at Newcastle County Go Tech Districts. You'll see some other friendly faces on the screen tonight in between my sharing. There'll be uh, some of your team leaders who you'll have an opportunity to do some uh, breakout sessions with. Um, let me go ahead now, um, switching to the next screen. Um, we're really excited to be back in full session. So uh, today was our first day of all students being in the building at the same time. It, it's so important, especially in a vocational technical school district that students are in school. You know, at this time last year, think about it, all schools, it seemed like across the country were virtual. Um, we knew how important it was to have our students who have IEPs receiving face-to-face -face instruction from our teachers. Um, that we were the first district here in Newcastle County to bring students in who had an IEP to our Friday Learning Center. We really understand the importance of safe in-person instruction. Uh, so, Plans for tonight include for us to be in a big group session um, as we are now, uh, then we'll move into breakout groups with your school's uh, special education team leader. Your team leaders will describe details that are specific to their school. Um, we'll end the meeting from those breakout sessions. Um, right now you're on mute. So if you have any questions, you can use the chat feature. Uh, Ms. Williams, maybe you can watch the monitor the chat for me. Um, there's some, uh, not good at handling those. <laughs> uh, once we get to the breakout rooms, the plans to allow you to unmute yourself and then uh, talk if you have any questions with your team leaders. And then also I'll be sending out a recording of tonight's session in English and then in Spanish to all of our ninth grade parents. So I think that kind of covers all bases. Um, so let's um, you know kick off with first, I do wanna thank you for choosing to send your child to Newcastle County Votech. We know that you had many choices for high schools um, and we hold our relationships with you uh, in the highest level and want you to always feel that uh, we're here to be able to answer questions or, or maybe explain things better. Maybe to hear what's working uh, or maybe to hear what could be working better. Uh, especially when we work with students who have a disability. It's really important that we have a strong working relationship with our parents. So a uh, little bit about our uh, info about our district to start with. Um, of course, we're a high school only district. The four high schools, you know, up county, Howard and Del Castle, and then further down county, Hudson and St. George's. We draw from 30 different middle schools across the county. Um, great part about that is that nearly all of our students come in knowing only a few, if any, uh, if any other students. So, there's no one dominant social group and all students are in the same boat of trying to make new friends together. Uh, on average, the amount of students uh, who have an IEP, it, it's 13%. So for instance, at Hudson, a, a school of about 1,100 students, almost 150 students have an IEP. Um, students don't know whether another student has an IEP or not for two reasons. Um, Number one, we respect their confidentiality. And reason number two, the most important one, it's because of our fully inclusive environment. Uh, when I say fully inclusive, it means that all students that are working on a standard diploma are placed in our general level setting. We bring the specialized supports into the general classrooms according to what the students need. So if you're walking around any of our schools you would see classrooms, you know, 20 to 25 students. Many of the classes would have a couple of students who would have an IEP. Um, no students in the class know who else has an IEP, of course. Classes uh, with students who have an IEP would have a second teacher or a paraprofessional assigned to that class. They would bring the supports to the students in the classroom, you know, circulate around the room just as would, you know, any teacher. Um, they'd be available for any student in the class, but they'll pay special attention to those that require more support. Um, sometimes they might work in a small group session. Your team leaders will discuss more about this in the breakout session. Um, one special note about our special education teachers in the general setting. We call them by a different name. They're learning support coaches, and, and terminology is important. 
when you think about their role in the classroom, all students will be more receptive to working with a learning support coach than they would working with a special education teacher. So learning support coaches, they guide students, they gradually learn how to step up to the plate and learn to advocate for themselves. This is an important skill that they'll need uh, either on the job or after graduation in college. And I, I do wanna highlight our STEP program at, at Del Castle, which has a different model. Students in this program are working on a diploma of alternate achievements. Uh, and students in this program after 12th grade move to our 18 to 21 program. Uh, where they're focusing more directly on employment training. Okay. There we go. Uh, so we know that getting off to a good start is tremendously important. Um, that's why we provided guided tours to our building at the beginning of summer. And that's why um, we provided summer IEPs. Uh, tonight's meeting is also another layer of support. Um, we talked about the role of learning support coaches. Your child will also have support of a school counselor. Um, will be very important when we begin to talk about selecting a career area. That occurs about midway through the freshman year. For mental health needs, uh, which we know are on the rise, we have our wellness centers uh, and school psychologists available. There, there are many supportive adults who are keeping an eye out for your child. Um, and parents, if you have any concerns about your child's anxiety or stress, please do not hesitate to reach out to an adult at the school. School psychologists are great at helping to sort through whether concerns are somewhat typical for a developing adolescent or if they might require extra attention. And, and team leaders, you know, who you'll be interacting with in just a little bit, they are your uh, go-to person for any questions um, about the IEP or evaluations and testing. Uh, we know that special education involves a tremendous amount of documentation, and your team leader will help guide you through it all. Uh, team leaders lead the special, ed, uh, special education department in, in each of their schools. All right. Uh, so rolling right along, last year, we know all IEP meetings were held online virtually. Um, th this was surprisingly a bright spot for me. It was surprising that um, we had a great turnout for parents. I had expected that parents wouldn't like the virtual IEP meeting, but I'm happy to say that I was wrong. Um, our parent attendance at meetings was higher than at any year that I can remember. And we're going to remain, uh, you know, maintain virtual meetings this year. If you would like a face-to-face -face meeting with masks, that's fine too. Um, your team leader can work out the details with you. Also, you're probably very familiar with the signing documents uh, online now. Um, you'll continue to sign all documents um, through what we use is called DocuSign. So you would get a notice in your email inbox, but also on your text. Um, we found that parents really liked the text feature. Um, but now that most things are virtual, it's really important um, that your school has a correct email address for you. So. Uh, if uh, you switch, don't forget to let the guidance office know about that also. Let me slide up to the next one. So, you know, probably the reason that you selected the Votech district is because of our career and technical training. Um, we're the only district that provides a 10 credit designated pathway for students, you know, by teachers who work in the industry in the area that they teach. You know, many of our career programs earn an industry recognized certificate. That's gonna open job doors for your child uh, after graduation. And for students who have a disability, we add uh, additional resources to guide you through uh, this four year pathway. So I'm gonna um, invite Ms. Lynn Williams. She's our district transition coordinator to tell you a little bit more about uh, how we provide supports in this area for students. Lynn? Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, again, my name is Lynn Williams and I'm the district transition coordinator. You'll frequently start to see emails from me, um, just sharing some information we have um, that we our district feels mm -hmm. is important as parents that you should know about. Um, you will start working with me more so in later years, but I wanna make a connection early on. So from entry into the ninth grade, our district welcomes parents to explore opportunities that best prepare their students for independent life after graduation. While progressing through their high school years, they will be encouraged to participate in a variety of activities to build those skills. 
By choosing Newcastle County VOTAC, your student will have the opportunity to earn a high school diploma. They will also earn a career certificate order certification. Um, our district is focused on getting students back into school so they can experience that hands-on approach of career exploratory. I'm hoping you'll see a lot of excitement in the next coming weeks as your children come home and talk about the different career areas that are available. Um, for those students that are in our specialized transition and employment pathways, also known as STEP, they will work on a State of Delaware Diploma um, of Alternative Achievement Standards. These students will continue on at an 18 to 21 year old program that is at Service Source. This is a program that is located near the Newcastle Airport. Upon completion of the program at 21 years of age, they will be prepared to work independently. Um, so our district provides um, hands-on career exploratory experiences. So you'll hear your children talking about, um, in each of the schools it's a little different, but they'll talk about how they're gonna do rotations and just have the opportunity to explore what careers are available at each one. Our career teachers um, provide real live work experience to the best of their ability to introduce students to a various career pathways. So ninth grade is the time when students really learn what careers are available to study and explore and what's really done in that course. So you'll hear them um, talk about how they, if they were in plumbing that day, maybe they hook some PVC pipes together or if they were down in medical, they may do some basic you know, medical care. Later in the ninth grade, students will apply to a career area. So I just want to give you a little bit of reassurance. About approximately 90% of um, students that apply get into their first and second choice. And I know that there's a lot of questions that will come about that, but just know that each individual school will offer meetings that will address those questions and concerns, and they will also share that with the students as they go. So that is something that will be shared, but I would say look out for that more so towards the second um, marking period. Um, in 10th grade, the students are officially part of the career area that they are accepted into and spend a portion of their day learning in more in-depth skills of the career area they're in. And then by 11th and 12th grade, students have mastered the basics and continue to learn the skills to prepare them for future certifications in those fields. Um, this is a time when the students will participate like in clinical experiences, co-op opportunities, um, they'll have speakers come in. It's a really um, exciting time. That's why students choose VOTEC. They also have the opportunity to um, participate in, we have skills competitions for our careers. So um, it's honestly the reason you chose VOTEC for a lot of students is to participate in those. Um, in 11th and 12th grade, students and families will um, become I'm actively, more actively involved with the community and state agencies to best support them for their independent life after graduation. And that is kind of where you'll see myself become more involved. I'm going to show you that the supports that you've had through high school can also continue as they move on, whether that is if they're going to college or going to a career. So I look forward to working with each, each of your families. And if you have any questions at any time after you receive any of my emails, please feel free to um, reach out, I'll be happy to call you, or send an email, and discuss that further. Um, Dr. Jazik? Okay. All right. Thanks, Ms. Williams. So um, I love how we look at the whole um, high school experience with like one grade that builds upon the other. You know, when students get to the upper grades, I hear parents say how great it is to hear their child talking like an expert in their particular uh, career area field. Um, you're going to be amazed at like the development that your child's going to be uh, making throughout these years. So um, we're almost ready to go to breakout groups. I wanted you to know that we'll have uh, some other meetings this year for our parent council. Uh, right now, we're planning a transition-focused meeting. You know, more specifically, Ms. Williams will go into a lot more detail. Um, we're also going to be inviting the Parent Information Center PIC, PIC, um, to be able to speak with this group also. And then obviously, I'll reach out when uh, those meetings are going to occur. I do want to thank you uh, for participating, uh, especially with uh, our, our wild weather situation. Um, when you do get to the breakout rooms, we're going to be exiting tonight's meeting from there. Uh, so this, uh, you know, I, I'll be popping into a couple of the breakout rooms, but I do uh, you know, want to thank you for coming and participating. And I hope that you see us as a, you know, a partner that will be able to uh, 